Good morning and welcome to my first weekly vlog. Um, yeah, so I have been kind of umming and ahhing and thinking about it for quite a while about starting weekly vlogging. I really enjoy watching other people's weekly vlogs, like I really enjoy um, Brogan Tate's. I quite enjoyed like when the Meldrums did weekly vlogs. Um, so yeah, I kind of have been thinking about doing it for a while but always felt like my life isn't really interesting enough. Um, I don't know, I spend a lot of time having to rest and not being very well. But I like the idea of like being able to film like not necessarily just like good bits but like difficult parts as well and just having those kind of memories throughout a year um so yeah after kind of thinking about it quite a lot and after turning 30 as well i was just like let's just give it a go see how it goes you know i'm not going to commit to vlogging every week because you know health gets in the way and it's not always that simple but I'd like that's all it kind of what I'd like to do is vlog every week but we'll just kind of see how it goes see how I'm getting on with like editing it and stuff um I have done weekly vlogs before like there are a couple on my channel but I've never like done it um re like what's the word repeatedly yeah repeatedly um and that's kind of my idea now which is why I'm calling this weekly vlog number one so yeah it's Monday morning, I am up and dressed, finally. Um, a bit later than I would hoped, but never mind. Um, I think I am gonna go down to my little office and just start doing a little bit of work on my computer. Um, I'm trying to get myself into a better routine of blogging and YouTube and try and come up maybe with a kind of schedule. I'm not sure. I don't wanna, I kind of do want a schedule, but I don't wanna like put too much pressure on myself and make myself ill um but I think having a schedule will help so that's kind of where I'm at at the moment but I want to start blogging more because I've just been rubbish since I left uni so that's kind of one of my goals and then also to just yeah get into a better routine with doing the videos and stuff which I'm hoping the weekly vlog might help me do um I'm still sorting out my Disney vlogs I'm nearly finished with them and then I'll kind of hopefully be trying to get a weekly vlog up every week and then I need to start doing some sit down videos again because I've got quite a few planned and just need to kind of get on with it. Um, so yeah that's my plan, I've got a fairly quiet day today apart from um, a group in the evening um, but I have got to do a few like party preparations because I've got my Disney, uh, my Disney birthday party on Saturday which will obviously be in this vlog. But yeah I'm going to go down and start doing a little bit of work in my office and yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoy the weekly vlog. blog post written this morning I was kind of hoping to do more but I had to edit some photos as well and that takes a little while um, we're now going to pop out um, I just need to like run a few little errands um, I've got to go to the balloon well, it's, we call it the balloon shop it's a news agents but they sell like helium balloons and stuff because um, I want to sort out some bits for my party I need to get some milk for the group that I'm running tonight so that people can have tea and coffee I what else do I need to do I need to buy some stamps um I think that's about it so yeah we're gonna just pop out before I have some lunch um and sort those bits out I'm just gonna show you actually something that I've sorted for my party which like some of the balloons are gonna be for because by the time I put this up the party will be gone so I'm not spoiling anything but yeah I'm just gonna show you those so I'm doing a Disney themed party and I bought these like bird houses and I have painted them. Now <laughs> they're kind of meant to represent the up house. Obviously they don't look like the up house. Um, but I'm hoping like once they've got balloons coming, like helium balloons coming from them, it will kind of give people the idea of them being the up house. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of, I'm quite pleased with them. They took a while to paint and yeah. I think they're going to be quite fun. Just where it was needed Claimed in black as night Cloistered in injustice, dead In the iron time Nobody is... So lunch is done. I have now 
to bring the doctors and try and book an appointment to have an ECG. Um, I have to have one every three months just because of the medication that I'm taking. And I seem to spend my life ringing doctors and hospitals trying to sort out appointments and chase results and all that kind of thing. I feel like I need like a personal secretary just to sort out all the medical crap. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do now and then I'm going to go and curl up on the sofa. Faces merchant change, your face remain the same. up on the phone call because they weren't answering so I'll, well, I'll have to go down there or try again later um but for now i'm just gonna have a little bit of quiet time because i'm feeling pretty tired and not brilliant i've got a bit of a headache um so i'm gonna catch up on i don't know i've got a lot of hollyoaks recorded that i didn't get to watch last week so i might catch up on some of those and i'm also going to write some little labels that i need gonna like put out so for my party on Saturday when we put out like the food I want to put a label by each um bit of food so I'm gonna start writing those we haven't bought the food yet but I know what I want to get and like what the labels are gonna say so I think I'm gonna start writing those just I just wonder what that was it's Freddy's tale um yeah I'm gonna start writing those just so that they're done and that's something else I can tick off the list um, and it's quite a quiet activity that I can just do while I watch a bit of TV, I think, and possibly cuddle up with this one. Freddie? Hello. You are right. I've just been barking at the balloons. He's been fine with them, like, since Thursday. And then all of a sudden, he was like, nope, don't like them anymore, going to bark at them. So, there we go. They'll be gone The trees will bloom and ice will melt We'll always remember how it felt I need to get up, Freddy I need to go and get my four to sit not that I really want it, but needs must. Are you going to let me up? Nope. You're too comfy. Aren't you? You're too comfy. Bless you. <laughs> Water sip and holly oaks. Oh, so I've been resting on the sofa for most of the afternoon, but now I have to get up. Um, Basically, I set up a mental health group in our town. Well, it's like a peer support group for local people who have experience of mental health problems. So we have a Facebook group and then we do monthly meetings and then we try and do like social activities as well. So tonight is one of our monthly meetings. And yeah, I need to go up, uh, go up, I need to get up, <laughs> wake up and go and open up and run the meeting. I like always get to this point and I think, Oh, I really don't want to go and I don't feel like going, but it usually is quite good. In, when, once I've been, I'm quite glad that I've gone. So I just need to like try and find a bit of energy and get on with it. just taken Jaffa down to the vets for his annual like booster jabs and like check over and stuff he wasn't particularly happy about it he absolutely hates being put in the little crate thing um but thankfully the vets is literally only down the road so it didn't take us too long and the vet was really happy with him she said he could do, like do to lose a little bit more weight but 
apart from that, he's absolutely fine, which is good because I well, obviously didn't want anything to be wrong with him, but also it means I don't have to pay more money for... I think last year when we took him, um, he had to like have his teeth cleaned, which means having to be put under anaesthetic and stuff. So I was a little bit worried that they might want to do that again, but thankfully they don't. So we've brought him back. He's now hiding under the bed, giving us evils every time we go in. So, you know, we'll have to work for forgiveness from him. Um, I am now just going to have a little rest in the lounge um, and then my mum and I are going to head over to Costco because I need to get some bits like food and stuff for my party on Saturday. So we've just got to Costco, we've had to bring two separate cards because I've got my electric wheelchair in the back and um, oh, I'm losing my voice, yeah because I've got my electric wheelchair in the back you can't really fit much stuff in so my mum's come in her car as well. I don't really know how much stuff we're going to buy but we've got quite a big list for the party so yeah. We're going to go in now, just need to get my wheelchair out and then we can head in. It always makes us chuckle when we come to Costco with mum because the trolley is literally nearly as big as she is. Are you disappearing mum? Are you disappearing behind the trolley? <laughs> Getting ready for Christmas. Oh, look at the reindeer. They're really pretty. And the train. This one. 59? I like that. Hmm? I like that. The yeah. reindeers are nice as well. And I love that train. 72 pounds. Oh my god. What, the tree? Okay. The tree? Okay. It's one of the best bits in Costco. Mm -hmm. Look at all the cakes. They do a strawberries and cream Baileys, and I've also seen a dairy-free one in here as well. I'm not a massive fan of Baileys, but maybe that one will taste quite nice. So this aisle is like sweet heaven. We've got like red vines, pencils over there, busy worms. It's like loads of haribo behind me. I want it all and have giant marshmallows as well. The problem with coming to Costco is they have lots of tasters around and we've tasted what we tasted um, popcorn, cod, is there anything else? Yeah not all at the same time and then we've just had sourdough bread with like a chicken and bacon filler and I'm not usually a big like meat person at all but this was really good. So We've now come to find the sourdough baguettes. We put the chicken and bacon filler in the trolley, and that is going to be lunch today. But you end up buying stuff that you never thought you were coming in for, but that's just what happens. So we're back from Costco. I'm exhausted after that. I know um, a trip to Costco probably doesn't seem like that much to most people, but when you've got a chronic illness, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to get some lunch now, and then. I don't know, when my dad gets back we need to have a look at making one of the games for my party because I've been putting it off and putting it off and it needs to, you know, what we need to do um, but I want to try and have a quieter afternoon because I've got to go out again this evening this vlog is like making it sound like I go out every evening, I really don't it's just how this week's kind of working um, this week's just hectic, I'm kind of hoping after the party it might quieten down a bit and I can just catch up on rest and get back to kind of normal um so yeah i'm gonna get, get some lunch it's such a beautiful day like the sky is blue there's no clouds this is like perfect autumn day well it's even it doesn't even feel like autumn because it's not that cold um if it could be like this on saturday i would be very happy though i know i let you down i made the same Mistake. I am the worrying kind, resting my life away. Be here, you know I really want you to stay. Later, when you then go, you will somehow still remain. Time I 
Very selective hearing. Freddy, want a treat? Good boy. Are you coming in? Oh, you're such a clever boy. Oh, let me get in. Let me get in. Good boy. Hang on. I need to get them open. And I can't do it with one hand. Oh, there we go. Right. Paw, uh, uh, uh. paw, good boy. Other paw, other paw, good boy. So this afternoon's job is to work out how to put these, sorry, not the pencil, but the hooks onto this board because I want to make a hoop toss game for a Captain Hook one. So like put these sort of staggered on here and then for my party people can chuck hoops and try and like get them over the hooks but there's like literally nowhere of like that you can put glue on so my dad <laughs> i'm leaving it to my dad to figure out how to attach these to the wood and then i can like paint um the name of the game on the top once they're on as well mum wants to know what the big hole at the top's for dad it's a conversation piece <laughs> I.e. It, it, he was it was made a long time ago when I bought my new hole saw <laughs> and I wanted to see what it looked, what happened. <laughs> and it made a hole. And it made a hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. No, because mum did it. Have you got some? Is this game too hard? Well, you didn't want it too easy, oh. did you? Well, yeah, but... Hooray! <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Come on. Wow. Oh. Is this possible? Yes. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> that I'd be lost without you will never find myself Do the numbers before we judge Someday All of this mess will only make us laugh So find me at the rainbow's end And we can right up to the top be lost but we will stay on a solid ground this time it is for real in another way will you be my only and dearest every day so find me Please excuse me. 
excuse my slightly strange location um, but hopefully as you can see from the footage before this we have got my nephew today um, so yeah it's always a, a busy day um, I had to pop out this morning to pick up my dress for my party um, and then this morning we've just been playing with Noah my brother and sister-in-law have come over and yeah just having a nice morning I'm not feeling particularly well I feel quite dizzy like every time I stand up or move so I'm just trying to take it slowly and uh, we're just giving Noah his lunch now. Sorry I look rubbish. Um, I fell asleep on the sofa earlier, like before lunch and yeah. I kind of feel a little bit better now. I've had a bit of lunch and I don't feel quite so dizzy. Um, so I think, well, my dad and mum have taken Noah out to a little like baby group at the church. Um, so it's a lot quieter now, <laughs> um, but while he's out, I'm gonna go swimming. So basically, I um, I joined. <laughs> basically, there is a retirement village that's been built in our town, and they have a really nice swimming pool there. Um, it's quite accessible. They have hoists if you need them and things like that, and all the changing rooms are like very accessible. Um, and if you have a disability, you're able to join and use the pool. So, oh, that's my phone. Um, oh, I get this really weird text saying that I've been sent an Uber code. I haven't, or, I've never ordered an Uber. I just ignore them. Anyway, yeah, so I joined the like pool wellness center, I think they call it. Um, and I try and go once a week to do some like hydrotherapy exercises that I've learned when I've been having like physio and stuff. So, I'm usually, I don't know, I'm usually in the pool for about 20 minutes or something, so it takes longer to like get changed and everything, and I find it exhausting, but I like doing it because it's a type of exercise that I can do without like getting loads of pain or whatever, certainly while I'm doing it anyway, I kind of get the pain after, but um, yeah, it's just a way of doing like something that feels a bit more like normal exercise rather than me sitting at home yeah. doing physio exercises which I do still have to do sometimes but you know going swimming it feels like something that everyone else does so I don't feel like I'm doing something like out of the ordinary like and yet another like illness thing I just wanted it to be something that isn't doesn't feel like related to medical stuff and things like that and I do find it quite relaxing like usually the pool is very quiet I can't remember the last time there was someone else in the pool with me um and I think just being in water when you get a lot of chronic pain and stuff can be quite, I don't know what's the word, I find it quite relaxing and it does just seem to take the pressure off my joints and stuff. Anyway, that was a really long winded like explanation, but my plan is I want to go swimming a bit later. Um, I'm actually, I don't know, I seem to be running quite early today for some reason. Um, and I could go now, but they have a supervised swim and I'm guessing it might be a bit more like busy if I go now. So I might just wait half an hour, do a little bit of like blog work and then head down there. And then by the time I get back, hopefully it will just be sort of time when they're bringing Noah back from the baby group. So I can kind of help with his snack and spend a little bit more time with him now. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and do a little bit more blogging and then going to go and head to the swimming pool. There were a couple of people in the pool as well but it was absolutely fine you know three people in a swimming pool you could go to like a public bath and it would be absolutely packed so i'm not complaining um it's such a nice day like it does not feel like the middle of october i've had to take my coat off because i'm too hot i'm like in my jumper and like in a bit hot and sweaty i think that's partly because of going swimming um I never really like wash my hair straight after going swimming or do like a proper shower and well I, 
I do have like a quick wash down with the shower, but by the time I finish swimming, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my hair later today when I've hopefully found a bit more energy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just head home now and hopefully Noah will be back from his little group and I can play with him a bit before my brother comes and picks him up later. Is my favorite Noah back? Is my favorite Noah back? There's a lot of noise coming from this room. There's a lot of <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Noah. She's trying to change his nappy, so I'm not going to flip this camera around at the moment. <laughs> Noah. Noah. Are you not being very helpful? We're using the touching and turning. <laughs> oh, no, you think you're the type of person that's not doing that? Uh, I think she is. Uh, <laughs> are you being a monkey? Yep, this is the monkey house. Are you being a monkey? <laughs> 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 now, don't we on Auntie Becca? Or Nanny? You can be on Nanny, I don't mind that. No, I do. <laughs> 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 Have you got some more teeth coming through? Where's your teeth? Where's your teeth? It's like they're in my mouth away from you. Yes, well done. Well done. Beauty well says I'm not showing you them. language. <laughs> What's that funny noise coming out of her mouth, eh? Hello. You're not going in the wood basket. You're not going in the wood basket. Mr. Fluffy Hair. Noah! No, little cheeky monkey. You should pull him back by his feet, he loves it. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> oh, no, 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 not quite. What I meant. <gasps> Look, he like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? What is it with the wood basket? It's just not that interesting. It's just not that interesting. Yeah, he likes doing this. So, no, I should... <laughs> You like doing this, don't you, Brady? So we lie down. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? And then you no. go, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Ready? Ready? No! Are you ready? No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello. 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 You're a monkey. Noah has 
just gone home and I have crashed out on the sofa. I just, oh, I know I've really overdone it the last, well, not even just the last week, the last few weeks. I've just been really busy and I think it's kind of starting to hit me a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just have a little bit of quiet time, try not to fall asleep, but I'll pop the TV on. Um, and what time is it? Oh, watch, I don't know, is it Extreme Cake Makers or something, I think, on at this time. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chill out for a bit now, I think, and watch that. In some snuggles on the sofa with this little man. You want me for a day? You're looking after me because I'm not feeling very good. I love it. He always comes and like snuggles on my knee. He likes to sit like right in here. So if I'm like sitting in a different way and he can't like sit like that, he gets quite upset and he'll sit there and he'll like pour at me and try and like get me to move. So he's really like set in his ways, which I, I kind of understand because, you know, I'm quite set in my ways too. Um, yeah, Extreme Cake Makers wasn't on. It's obviously finished, so it's come dine with me. Um, but I don't mind, I love come dine with me. And then it's The Simpsons, which is my favourite. You set my world on fire. You're my heart. One of my favourite things to do when I'm feeling a bit crap, or when I'm not feeling a bit crap, is to watch The Simpsons. It's definitely one of my favourite programmes and I keep saying to myself one day I will go to Florida, go to Universal and go to like The Simpsons a bit in Universal. That would just be awesome. But yeah, for now I'm gonna make a make do with watching The Simpsons on telly. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay. I think I can just about still say good morning to you. Um, couldn't film earlier because I got up late and yeah, was just running ridiculously late. Um, but I've just come out of my psychotherapy group. Um, it's a group I go to once a week. I only started in like August, I think, so it's not been very long. Um, and I've been waiting for it for two years, I think. Well, it's been a long time. Um, yeah, no, it's it's going well. Like the other people in the group are really lovely as well, which helps, I think. And I'm kind of starting to settle in now. Um, I am just gonna head home now. I've been having really, like I think it's my pots that's playing up. But I've just been keep feeling really faint, like when I go from like sitting to standing, or if I like bend down a bit, which isn't much fun. Um, so I'm trying to drink lots of water. I've taken my medication. I'm kind of hoping it will help. Um, we've got my nephew again for a bit of today. I think. Not sure how long, because my brother's at home, but he's doing some uni work, so yeah, I'll get to see Nara again. Um, and then I think a bit later we're going out to Tesco's to get some other some of the other food for my party that we couldn't get at Costco. So yeah, it's another busy day. Um, I think I just, well, next week I just need a few days or a week to just not do very much and, you know, do the bare minimum, which I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, because I know I've got a couple of hospital appointments but I am going to head home now and get some lunch I want you for myself every single day you said my world on fire you said my world on fire I don't know what I do without you Was it nice? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> yeah, Noah. You're watching Auntie Jenny. So I might have fallen asleep on the sofa for a bit after my lunch, which wasn't quite what I had planned, but just exhausted. Um, and I was awake again now though, and I thought I might try and open some more of my cards and presents from my birthday. Um, people might find it a bit odd, like so my birthday was last Thursday, and um, I 
tend to open family presents like on my birthday or like the next day um but i'm very i'm lucky enough to have friends that send me presents and cards and i tend to like spread it out a bit i get quite overwhelmed like trying to open everything all in one day i find i get very very tired um and i just want to appreciate it so that's why i do it it's not because i'm not grateful or you know anything like that i just it's because I want to be more grateful and I want to be able to appreciate opening stuff. Um, no one's looking at me like I'm some sort of weirdo. Um, but yeah, so that's why I've still got stuff to open. Um, he, I think he's happy enough playing. Um, Rebecca's around somewhere as well. But yeah, I think I might try and open a few bits and bobs now. because Noah was a bit grizzly and just wanted someone to kind of hold him and play with him and stuff which was fine so we've done that um I'm now just getting ready to go out to Tesco's with my mum because we need to get the rest of the food for the party on Saturday um I'm hoping it won't take too long because I'm really tired but it needs doing so that's the plan and I think it's just started raining as well which is great <laughs> Connie and Colin the caterpillars, little mini ones, for my party on Saturday. Just because they're too cute not to. So we're just looking at the like baby clothes for bits for Noah. And why is it there's always so much more stuff for girls than there is for boys? It just seems to be really difficult to find nice clothes for boys. So if anyone has any recommendations of like places to look, let me know. So you can get pigs in blankets, Chris and turkey and stuffing crisps. I reckon the pigs and blankets probably just taste like the bacon rasher ones. I have no idea what the turkey ones though. How good do the Malteser truffles look? I love a Malteser. Sorry I didn't film much in Tesco's and Marks and Spencer's. We were kind of like on a mission to just get what we needed to get um, and take as little time about it as possible. We did quite well. There was only like a couple of things on the list that we haven't been able to get. Um, so yeah, we did all that and then we came out into the car park and it was absolutely tipping it down with rain. Um, didn't really have a proper coat on or anything like that, which was not great. Um, so we got soaked and I actually quite like what it's done to my hair. <laughs> so I have like ridiculously straight, fine hair that never goes into any style particularly well. Like it just sits there really straight and... It drives me slightly mad but it's kind of gone like wavy and um i quite like it so thank you rain it's not going to stay like this and i'll never be able to get it like this again but yeah i quite like it so that's the only like up point to the rain um so yeah we're home now and i am gonna just relax with a cup of tea i think because i'm cold i'm soaking wet like Ugh, I just feel gross and the only thing that's going to make that better is sitting with a cup of tea and watching, what time is it, Emmerdale or something probably and cuddles with this little fella, isn't it Fred? We need to give you your dinner as well, so I think that's the plan, isn't it? That's the plan. <laughs> I 
I've slept again this morning by like an hour, which was just not good. I woke up and I was like, crap. So it's been a bit rushed, but I've just been to my physio session for my wrist. So basically I've torn like, I think the ligament and some of the cartilage in my wrist. So we're trying physio before we look at surgery. Um, at the moment he's doing acupuncture and he did like acupuncture between my fingers, which was quite weird. Um, it was a little bit painful, but we're gonna see if it helps with like the pain and stuff a bit. I actually come to the same place where I have, where I come swimming. So it's at the retirement village because the physios like practice some of their clinics out of here, which is really useful for me because it's just down the road. Um, but yeah, that is done now. I'm gonna head home, what time is it? I'm gonna head home for a little bit, but I'm actually going back out because um, I'm going for a massage and I'm getting my nails done for my party tomorrow. Um, I go for like quite regular massages to try and help like manage pain um just because i find them quite helpful like with back pain and neck pain and stuff um so i'm quite looking forward to just a bit of pampering to be honest so i'm back from my massage now i feel quite relaxed actually and a little bit less achy which is always good i've also had my nails done so i went for this like red let me see if i can put it is it gonna focus yeah, so I've got this red and then on my ring finger, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's kind of sparkly. Anyway, I thought that would go quite nicely with the um, yellow bell dress because it's kind of like the red rose. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And those are gels, so they should last quite a while. Um, my mum is now making me, kind of, kindly making me some scrambled egg for my lunch. Um, so that's just gone on, on the hob. And then I think it's going to be a busy afternoon because I've got to sort out my camera for tomorrow, which means taking all the footage off. And I need to just do like lots of like last minute bits for the party tomorrow and get that sorted. And I'd quite like to open some of my presents that have been sitting there for a while because I didn't get around to doing it yesterday as well. So that is the plan for the afternoon. <laughs> on the Great British Bake Off. I think I've got two episodes to watch because I'm always out on a Tuesday evening at the moment so I'm a bit behind but I think this is quite a nice thing to do while I'm finishing planning party things. So I'm currently making like all the little signs to tell you like what is around my party um, and I found this one, well I've done this one for the guest book. Freddie! <laughs> um, yeah I've done this one for the guest book. I found like a little rhyme on Pinterest which I've kind of adapted a bit. Um, and then a little Winnie the Pooh picture with them holding books, which I thought would be quite fun. <laughs> So yeah, um, I've done, well, I've got quite a few bits ticked off now, um, but I still have to blow up a whole load of balloons, write a birthday sign, uh, what else have I got to do? Oh, print out a load of colouring pages and make a Skittle game for tomorrow. So I'm going to carry on doing that, watch Holly Oaks and drink my four to sip. Sorry that I haven't really filmed much today, it's just been one of those days where the morning was just appointments and then this afternoon I've just literally been sat on the sofa trying not to fall asleep um, and sorting out like last minute bits for the party. I think we're getting there. Um, it's like, what time is it? Half past nine now and yeah, I think we're kind of pretty much there. We've kind of got a to-do list for tomorrow morning with just like a couple of bits we have to pick up that we've ordered um, and yeah, party starts at one so... I'm sure that'll come around quickly. Um, 
but yeah i think i will finish filming today because there's just nothing else i'm going to film hopefully there'll be a little bit more footage tomorrow because i want to film a bit of like the party and also take some pictures to do a blog post just about like how i've organized it if it all comes together hopefully um but yeah i'm going to try and get a decent night's sleep tonight get up early <laughs> which is going to be difficult for me um but yeah that is my plan get up early and then yeah party so it is party day i got up a bit later than i was hoping but we're doing all right at the moment hopefully um makeup's done i need to sort out my hair i really want to curl it but i don't know if i'm gonna have time we'll see um so yeah makeup's done i'm gonna get dressed when we get down there because i don't want to be having to like set up wearing my costume um so yeah now i need to go and curl my hair and then just get everything ready to put in the car it was raining earlier a lot but i think it's stopping so fingers crossed we don't get any more rain but yeah just need to go and start getting everything ready and then head down there so the cake has just arrived it looks amazing got little sim sims on it and then we've got a little castle like a die cut castle with a mickey cut out of it um and the bottom layer is red velvet and the top layer is cherry bake glass so i'm excited to try it as well i love it looking for a reason driven by the heart fighting for a season with sadness fall apart tell me not to worry tell me to be strong be my true
dressing up and looking pretty and <laughs> making it a lovely day. Thank you very much. So I don't know how much I filmed at my party because it was just a bit manic, but hopefully there's a little bit in there. So we're home now in pyjamas. My friend Lydia is here to stay the night. And I am going to open my present from her. We're just watching Strictly. God, like my makeup's all over the place. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to open my present from her. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me So it is the day after, the night before, or the day before <laughs> it's the day after the party anyway um and yeah it's actually like sunday afternoon now i've just had a really like quiet day so far not feeling brilliant i think i've just been running on adrenaline the last couple of weeks like trying to get everything ready and now i am just crashing a bit um yeah i feel a bit minging at the moment i really need to wash my hair and stuff but last night i was just so exhausted um but I had a good night's sleep and then my friend Lydia stayed over as well um, so she was here this morning we just had a lie in and then watched The Simpsons I think and just chatted and didn't really do very much and then she went home like just before lunch and yeah I've just been not doing yeah just not really doing anything um just yeah reading through my guest book and going through some photos and stuff which has been quite nice sort of reliving the memories of yesterday um but yeah i think i'm probably going to finish the weekly vlog here because the rest of the day is just going to be like that um i'm just gonna not do very much watch a bit of tv rest possibly fall asleep for a bit and yeah have a little like family dinner this evening when my sister gets back from work so i don't think there's much point in filming anymore um so yeah i really hope you have enjoyed my first weekly vlog if you have please give me a like and subscribe to my channel leave me a comment and let me know what you think of like weekly vlogging whether you think it's something that you will be interested in seeing more of i do plan to do it again next week um but i'd like to hear your comments like if you enjoy it if there's like more of some stuff you'd want to see stuff you don't want to see let me know um, also let me know like if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do or any blog posts you'd be interested in. I will be doing a blog post about my party like with more like detailed photos of all the little bits. I've tried to film like some bits but it was just like it was quite manic and then I just wanted to make sure I was like chatting to everybody and enjoying it and not spending all my time like taking photos and filming and stuff so but yeah there will be a blog post so if you're like into party planning or Disney or anything like that and you want to see like how we put oh, how I put it all together um head over to my blog I'll like link it down below and hopefully that will be coming up soon but yeah if there's any other videos you want to see sorry the dog keeps shouting at the balloons um if there's any other videos you'd want to see let me know and I will see you all in my next video bye